I'm not sure why he wouldn't stay positive, first of all. The guy's moved up a level every year. He came to big league camp. He had a good campaign. Uh, he was the last man cut, uh, and we shared that with him when he went out. Um, he went down, got his at-bats going, got his game going. Opportunity presents itself to come back up. He's, uh, he's given us a shot in the arm of the bat different times. Continues to work hard to acclimate to the speed of the game up here. You know, his best position is first. Try him in the outfield because of, of where we are. He's still figuring things out. He shows up every day ready to play. And it's a big swing of the bat for us today. Really fun to watch him get that ball out. Organization, just what do you like about him in general? Just what he brings to you? He's, he's got a lot of grit in the, in the box. I think he's, he's a mature hitter. You know, you, you don't see a lot of hitters. It also hits off speed as well as he showed in the spring. It wasn't just a fastball guy coming out of winter ball that had played and was sharp and hitting fastballs while pitchers were getting ready. He hit everybody. Um, he's really got nice feet and soft hands at first. Um, and then, you know, the outfield, we'll see if that plays out. How's that? We like the battle in the box. We like the grit. We like the man. Um, obviously, it was good to have our team today. <laughs> Yeah, it starts with the pitcher getting the ball on the ground, and then we turned him extremely well. Jordy's always been a, a guy out there that's so dependable uh, and can make an above average play as well, just being able to pull away outs and eat up outs all, all game long. And Giff may turn the double play better than anybody. We've had Walker turn it great, Harrison turns it great. Giff just seems to have another gear. Uh, in turn of the double play, and that's why um, you know he stayed at second. Uh, the pitchers got balls on the ground, and Harrison starting the one double play also with Nova. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't overlook that one. That's just, it's another big play in the game on the defensive side. So our defense showed up very timely for us today. Goalies at bat in the tenth, kind of a, a no-brainer there. There's, you know, I don't know. You know, people have accused me of not having a brain, so. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I mean, just I, take us through that decision. Go, no, going in, we had a meeting in here four days ago, and you know, I said Goldsmith won't beat us. Goldsmith wasn't going to beat us. He hit two balls out. You know, there's an argument, well, if he already hit two homers, a chance hitting the third one aren't very good. Well, we, we weren't going to find out. And pitchers and, and catchers, they want to compete, you know? And your closer always wants to compete. I don't think there's that many closers that intentionally walk guys. And I haven't had many that we've done it. There's an occasion every now and then. And today I felt it was the right move to make for the team.